Condi, Jean, and Sonia are outside during recess playing soccer on the school playground. It is a hot, sunny day. Over here, Sonia, says Jean. Sonia kicks the soccer ball over Condi's head. They have been running around for about 30 minutes in the sun. They are all sweating, but having a lot of fun. I've got to rest. I'm really thirsty and have a little headache. I feel a little dizzy, too. You probably need to go see Nurse Florence, says Sonia. It sounds like you are dehydrated. I get like that sometimes during soccer practice. I'm going to see Miss Smith. Miss Smith, I have a little headache and I'm a little dizzy. I'm really thirsty too. Please go see Nurse Florence so she can take care of you. Okay. Hi, Nurse Florence. I'm really thirsty and I have a little headache. I'm a little dizzy too. Did you just come from playing outside during recess? Yes. We were playing soccer. Does it hurt at all when I push? No. Your blood pressure is a little low, and your heart rate is just a little high. You could be dehydrated. I'm going to give you some water with some electrolytes to help. Here you go. This will help, and it should be nice and cold for you. Thank you very much. At home, you could drink a sports drink to get electrolytes. Stay here for just a little bit so you can drink some more water, and we can see if you get better. All right. It was very hot outside today. I could feel the heat of the sun on my head and arms as I was playing. How do we feel hot things on our skin? There are special receptors in our skin. Let me get my phone out and show you a picture. Heat and cold receptors are called thermoreceptors. This picture is a picture of the top layer of our skin under a microscope. The black arrow points to what a thermoreceptor looks like. This picture is a close-up view of the edge of a thermoreceptor. When there is heat, it opens up certain channels that are shown in different colors and lets certain chemicals inside. When enough of those chemicals are inside the receptor, a signal is created to travel to the brain to let the brain know there is something hot. Here's a picture of a nerve fiber from a person's finger that connects to a person's spinal cord. The spinal cord then goes up to the brain. That is so amazing! Hold my phone while I go and get you some more water to drink. Where does the signal go exactly in my brain? Great question. Let me show you. Every part of the brain does something special for us in order to live. And there's a part that is responsible just for feeling things in our body. The part of the brain shown in red is responsible for feeling things in our body, like heat, cold, pain, touch, pressure, and some other things. This is called the somatosensory cortex. As the brain receives signals from different parts of the body, it is calculating the changes in temperature and lets your mind know what's going on. Sometimes there is something so extreme, like touching a very hot cooking pan that burns you. Your body has a reflex and causes you to jerk your hand away to keep it from burning your skin even more. So my brain is like a computer and tells me what is going on in my body and outside of my body from all the signals it receives? That's a great analogy. Our brain is very complicated. Some scientists say it would take a very large supercomputer to be able to do all of the things our brain is capable of doing. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling much better. My headache is gone and I don't feel dizzy at all. When you play outside in the heat, you should always drink extra water and a sports drink to make sure you're getting your electrolytes. It's a good idea to drink some cups before you start playing, in the middle of playing, and after you're finished too. 